What is up, Ruiz? I'm not Mexican. Fuck. <laughs> like, whenever I tell people I'm from Guatemala, usually their first reaction is like, oh, well, I'd love to go to Guadalajara. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with that, though. <laughs> That's in Mexico! <laughs> and the other thing, the other thing I was like, Wiggler, yeah, I was born in this country. I was actually born, I don't know if you've ever heard of this place. It's really weird, it's called Pennsylvania. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was born there. I was born in Bethlehem, called me Jesus. And, um, Our yeah, savior. I was born in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a weird place, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, you know it's a weird place when you rely on a groundhog once a year to give you the weather forecast. Because <laughs> it's not like we can just look on our phones and then we have this thing called, oh, weather up. Where if you take one step outside, and it's like, you see snow on the ground, and you're just like, oh, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Pennsylvania's a weird place. I think the biggest difference, though, I noticed between Pennsylvania and South Carolina is the way they politically swing. I told myself when I was writing this that I'm not going to get into politics much, because to be honest, I don't know enough, enough, enough about them to make fun of them. You know? <laughs> it would be like me making fun of an old man who can't complete sentences. And then I thought for a second, <laughs> Why does making fun of an old man who can't complete sentences sound really familiar? I feel like I've heard that one before. I'll let you guys discuss it on the way home tonight. But that's all I'm going to talk about politics for now. I'm going to make this transition into the next topic smoother than Trump's transition. Damn. <laughs> A good show tonight. So who is excited that summer is finally here? Yeah. yeah! That's great, I'm not. I, yeah! I hate summer. You said it, sister. Yes, sir. I hate summer with a passion. And you know it's bad when I'd rather watch a Hallmark Christmas movie than sit through three months of this bullshit. <laughs> and even though I hate summer with like a burning passion, that was a stupid point. I don't know. <laughs> Even though I hate summer with a burning passion, I still want to use this time to be productive, make myself a better person mentally and physically, which is why I'm going to start going back to the gym this summer. Yeah! That's right, I said back. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is, I used to be athletic. I used to play baseball. I used to be in shape. I'm just a 20-year-old stay-at-home son now who's just A-shape. <laughs> <laughs> Not a pretty one. Like, you ever see like an octagon? Like, that's what I feel like. <laughs> so yeah. And I know people are gonna look at me and be like, Patilio, you're being so hard on yourself. You should feel totally confident with the way you look. And while I 100% agree, I should totally feel confident in how I look, I just wanna buy jeans like a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing. Whenever I'm going shopping for jeans, I feel guilty. And you'll trust me, you'll know when I've been to a store looking for jeans. Because you'll see a pile the size of Mount Everest just like sitting on a head cap with a box of Sour Patch Kids on top. I'm wondering why I got myself in this situation. Yes, sir. And then a worker told me, she'll like, she'll like start analyzing me. You're at least a 48. And I'm like, are you asking how many pairs of jeans I've tried on so far? Because if so, you're still under. <laughs> so yeah, my biggest fear though with going back to the gym, and this is gonna sound real stupid, I'm scared I'm gonna forget. I'm a horrible procrastinator. Like, I'm not gonna lie, 90% of this material I wrote this morning while taking a crap. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, kind of paying attention to SpongeBob close on my phone. I digress, that's a different story though. But yeah, I want to go back to the gym. I'm scared I'm going to forget, though. I've gotten so good at procrastinating, I feel proud of it now. And I feel like I can brag to people about it. And the way I've gotten so good at procrastinating, I'll tell you all how. It's very simple. I try to take any negative situation I'm in, make it positive. So all I do, I go in my bathroom. You are my mirror. <laughs> I look myself dead in the eye and I say, Adelio, you're the best procrastinator in the world. <laughs> Every time, without failure. Because then I look at myself and I go, you're damn right I am. 
You know, some things are always done better late than never, especially if it's only a day. Which is why I'd like to end my show by saying, on today, Monday, May 6th, 2024, I would like to wish you all a very happy, safe, and healthy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.